got the physicals taken care of, contact signs. So got to do a little bit of practice yesterday and decided to practice again today. And really just excited to start playing baseball again. Uh, that was, I was going to ask you about next time. Just having that Cape experience, just uh, how yeah. cool was that for you as someone from, not from this area of the country and just uh, to be back here again? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Seattle's a long ways away. It's on the other <laughs> side of the country. So, um, but being in the Cape was one of the best experiences of my life. And it's not like the second summer wasn't quite as good. I mean, it was awesome both times. So, um, yeah, it was nice to be up here, uh, be a little bit familiar with the area. Obviously, we're in a different spot. But, you know, I like this part of the country. It's not bad. Sure. Um, growing up out there, where you were you a Mariners fan? Yeah, was a Mariners fan, still a Mariners fan, as hard as it is sometimes. You know, they, they, they get our hopes up and we just fall flat on their face sometimes. So, luckily, we got the Seahawks. I'm a Seahawks fan, too. And they've been carrying the load a little bit the last couple of years for us. Have you gotten any grief about that early on? No, I've, I've kept it pretty quiet. Okay. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be wearing my jersey around anytime or anything like that. But uh, you know, it's uh, my host brother. The last two years, was a huge Patriots fan. Okay. So we went back and forth quite a bit, and that stuff is fun. But I'll just keep it on the low down for a little bit. Do you still talk to any of those Cape guys? Just oh yeah. Going yeah, I mean, the the uh, a lot of the guys that we played with, you know, you'll you'll run into them across the minor leagues and keep in touch, and you know, especially some of the guys I lived with. Um, Nobody in the, nobody was drafted by the Red Sox that I was really close with, but we'll get to play a lot of them as a sure. team. So it's it's always fun to see them again. How cool is that for you, obviously, as someone who may go into this as not knowing as many people, but just to be able to be able to go through this first season on knowing guys just around? Yeah, it, it's awesome. I, mean, I like it any time when you get to play somebody you know. It, it just makes it a little more fun, and it was fun playing a lot of those guys that we ran into them sometimes during the call of the season too. And so, you know, whenever you got somebody you can go say hi to during batting practice or something like that, it just makes it a little more enjoyable. Sure. Um, just going through this experience for the first time, what are you looking to learn from some of you guys who've maybe been in the Gulf Coast League and just done this whole ride to Boston thing? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, my freshman year I played in the West Coast League over in Wenatchee, so we had some serious bus rides there, so I kind of know what to expect a little bit right. about that. But in terms of being a pro, I mean, some of these guys have done it for a little while now, so um, especially at first I'm just going to try and sit back and watch and sure. see how to go about it and, uh, you know, kind of develop my own routine and, and just keep playing like I've always played. Where were you when you found out that you were drafted? I was at home with my family. We were kind of watching it. We were kind of expecting it was going to be sometime. Um, around there, and then the area scout Chris Pritchett, who I was talking to, called and said, "Hey, you know, we'll be watching out. We might take you with this next pick here." And, and sure enough, in the tenth round, they did. So that was pretty cool. Um, do you think that the experience that you've had now playing college baseball will help you sort of with this as you go sort of right through your fundraising season, coming right and playing? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've came in a little bit, so it'll take a little bit of time to to get back in the swing of things. But I mean, college baseball is—I mean, on Friday nights, you're facing pitchers that are they're dudes, and so. Um, knowing how to deal with failure a little bit and, and success as well. You know, you can't you can never be too high, never be too low. So, definitely playing four years of college, I've had a lot of experience, and I still have a ton to learn. I'm not saying, you know, I know everything, but it's definitely I'll be able to benefit from it a little bit. I think. Thanks, Mitch. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. No problem.